With a little over 24 hours to go until this year's telethon, the stars have begun jetting into Perth. This year, the charity celebrates 50 years of helping to improve the lives of sick children through medical research. Important work that wouldn't be possible without the generosity of the West Australian people. For 50 years, telethon has been part of the fabric of WA. If you judge the success of a charity by the money it's raised, then Telethon is the gold standard. $232 million since 1968. It's the little kids who give everything they've got that allow me to bring the big guys in with their money. Without the kids, there's no big guys. A big part of the unpredictable 25 hours of live TV are the Channel 7 stars. Where's Lynn McGranger? Because I'm out for revenge, Lynn. Last year she beat me in um, egg roulette and I'm, I've got her this time. While the celebrity duties really begin tomorrow, little telethon star Maddox Ball is already flat out. The seven-year-old has Duchenne muscular dystrophy. That didn't stop him stealing the limelight on sunrise this morning. Who are you most looking forward to meeting? Cash cow. Cash cow. Why do you love the cash cow? Because it has money. Breaking last year's record $26.2 million total will be hard. But the state's generosity was already on display at a barbecue breakfast in the city this morning. There to lend a hand was 11-year-old Scott Garini, who's raised $125,000 by himself by walking hundreds of kilometres. For every burger that gets eaten, it's $10 to Telethon. Telethon doesn't just happen. Planning for this year's show began the moment last year's ended. And it's up here on this stage at the convention centre where the magic begins in a little over 24 hours. To donate, call 1300 737 507 from 6 tomorrow night or log on to the Telethon 7 website now. Rob Scott, 7 News.